Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. Or if it's your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome. And if you haven't yet, please do do me the honour of hitting that subscribe button and clicking that bell for notifications so you're notified whenever I upload a video. So on this channel, if you're not aware, I like to explore various different invertebrates, having a closer look at them and sharing my knowledge of what I have on them, both my private collection and on my work. Now, and then this one we're going to have a look at a species of forest scorpion, one of the many types of Asian, Asian forest scorpions. This one we're going to have a look at is the Hetrometris kumani. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we have the Thai forest scorpion or Hetrometris kumani. And as the name suggests, this particular species does come from Thailand and it belongs to the genus of scorpions from across Southeast Asia, which make up what are commonly known as the Asian forest scorpions, of which I have a few species. This one, the uh, Hetrometris longimanus, uh, from a previous video that I've done, and also Hetrometris silenus. And like those two, this is another large black scorpion but in certain lights this actually has kind of a bit of a green sheen to it um, which makes it slightly different to my other two heterometrous species that I currently keep. Now this species was first given its name in 2004 uh, when I believe it was split off from heterometrous spinifer which is another very similar looking large scorpion. Now this species uh, has proved to me to be fairly simple to keep much like the other Hetrometrics that I keep, they like it fairly moist, uh, so a nice moist substrate. Um, not overly wet, of course, so just moist enough that it will hold together, but not so wet that if you were to squeeze it, that water would uh, run out of it, or you could wring it out at all. That would be far too wet for them. And they do like quite a nice high humidity, and that's because they do come from the tropical forests. So it's nice to give them a nice deep substrate that they can burrow into if they so choose. This one tends to spend most of its time under its cork hide that I give to it. And this is where it's currently sitting here. I just move the hide so I can have a bit of a close look at this uh, particular specimen. Now, now they do like a nice uh, water bowl full of water, but they do uh, drink quite a lot, I find. Now, and then occasional food with various life feeds, so crickets, um, boreal worms occasionally, and even occasional locusts and cockroaches as well. Now, so much like other forest scorpions or your tropical big large black scorpions these guys seem to be just as simple as those guys so this particular one I've had now um, well over a year uh, in my collection and has done exceedingly well so hopefully one day I will be able to breed this species um, but as of yet I haven't been able to uh, just so far I did have two of these um, unfortunately I did um, lose one it did pass away on me um, not quite sure why, um, but unfortunately sometimes these things do happen. So I'm hoping to be able to get another one or few of this species so that I can have another go at breeding them because they are fantastic species. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that look at the uh, Hetrometris Grimani. Hope you agree with me, like always they are a fantastic looking species. Um, super tough to own this, this species. And look, and it is fantastic, it's one of my favourite ones uh, that I currently keep. <laughs> so, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Also, please do leave some comments down below. Do you keep scorpions? If so, which scorpions do you keep? Are you looking into getting into scorpions? If so, which species are you looking at as your first scorpion? <laughs> but, until next Sunday when I'll see you again for another video. Keep rocking. I'll see you later. Goodbye.